Rasmussen, co-race director of the Inca Trail Marathon and founder of Eric's Adventures. And we're going to show you some exercises here that are associated with Core Workout A. On your training plan, they'll be numbered 1 through 10. The first seven exercises, we're going to do a brief demonstration so you know how to do them properly. So we're going to start with the first exercise, which is a plank with alternating leg lifts, which is as follows. Get down in the plank position, like this, and you're going to alternate lifting up a leg, holding it for about two seconds, lowering it, lifting up the other leg, holding it for two seconds, lowering it. And you're going to repeat this for 60 to 120 seconds. Uh, you'll get further along uh, as you do the workout more often. Important to try and keep your butt up and stay in a good uh, plank pose. Okay, workout two is going to be side planks with leg lifts. So the next step is to get in a side plank for exercise number two and lift your leg, hold for two seconds and down. Lift your leg, hold for two seconds and down. Each side try and do 60 to 120 seconds and then move on to the next exercise. Exercise three is going to be the back bridge with alternating leg extensions, which is going to be as follows. Get yourself in a back bridge. You're going to alternate a leg out, hold for two seconds, in. Alternate, push the leg out, hold for two seconds, and back in. Do that back and forth while keeping the high arch in your butt off the ground. The fourth exercise is going to be bicycle kicks on your back. They're as follows. You're going to extend one leg out and the other, hold the position for two seconds and switch. Hold the position for two seconds and switch. And so forth. <clears throat> the next exercise is going to be flutter kicks and arm pumps at your side. It's as follows. Pumping your arms and pumping your legs, shoulders off the ground, core engaged, like this. The next exercise is going to be a reverse plank with alternating leg slips. You're going to get in a reverse plank just like this. Butt high off the ground, on your elbows, on your heels, and then you're going to alternate lifting a leg up, hold two seconds. Lifting the other leg up, Hold two seconds. As follows. Try to keep your midsection high off the ground. And number seven is going to be putting yourself in a table pose, just like this. You're going to begin by alternating, putting your left arm out and your right leg back. This is a exercise where you're going to hold for a while on each side. You're not going to switch back and forth. But what you are going to do is occasionally roll your leg up to a curl and then roll it back straight. All the while maintaining, trying to maintain a straight line through your center. And then after you do that side, you're going to do this side. Same thing, leg out, arm out, and every so often you're going to roll into a curl to further engage the hamstring, and then go back to a straight, and back to the hamstring, and so on, for each side. And lastly, we're going to have you do one-legged pistol squats. It's preferred to not have to hold on to anything. You're going to get on one leg. You're going to engage more stabilizing muscles if you're not using something to hold on to for balance. So what you're going to want to do is slowly lower your knee and your back. Try and keep your knee straight above your foot. Go down and come up. Keep your heel on the floor. Keep your knee from going in and out. And come up. And then once you've done enough on one side, you do them on the other side. And the last exercises with the push-ups and the calf raises, I think, 
are self-explanatory. So these are the exercises associated with core workout A. Good luck. Thank you.